Hey everybody, it's Triple L, and now it's time to talk My Hero Academia! And this time specifically, we're talking a manga topic, so anime only viewers, uh, I highly recommend you don't check out this video unless you want to be extremely spoiled. We are talking about events past chapter 213 in the manga. Unfortunately, the anime is nowhere near that at the time of January 2019, so maybe leave this video for a while. Anyway, I'm assuming the anime only they're not here anymore. What we're going to be talking about is just the general idea that's been popping up ever since chapter 213 that Izuku might potentially ruin the story of My Hero Academia. And this is all rooted in the fact that Izuku has been revealed to have up to six more quirks available for him to use. He just has to go find them. And that general idea has caused quite a stir in the fan base, or at least according to some of the comments that I've been seeing on the videos. So is Izuku's power going to ruin the story of My Hero Academia? Well, the short answer is, I don't think so. And that's because of the way that Hero Academia uses its main villains for every arc. But before that, first let's understand where is some of the fear about Izuku ruining the story? Where is that coming from? And the answer to that part of the question is really, well, the fear is coming from the idea that if Izuku has too many quirks at his disposal, he may just be able to steamroll future events. In other words, any problem that Izuku encounters is really just one step away from being solved just by Izuku overpowering the villain. And this fear is coming from an extrapolation of what we've already seen with Black Whip, the second quirk that's been introduced in the One For All package. People would be very concerned about this given that the first two quirks out of the package are this powerful. If the first quirk that Izuku's pulled out of the mystery bag was this strong, imagine what's going to end up happening with the other five quirks. And for some readers, this fear is grounded in past evidence, and that's specifically evidence of previous Shonen Jump series. The big example that people would point out is the Naruto series, where after Naruto got to a certain level of power, he kind of overshadowed a lot of the other supporting characters. And because he also got to such a level of power, it ultimately isolated Naruto and a few other people who could keep up with him in the final arc. There's a few other rationales going into this one, uh, but it depends on who you're talking to, uh, what exactly they see as the flaw in Naruto, having to do with when Naruto got his power-ups. So if we were to boil down this rationale, what we see here is more quirks equal worse fights, in, in a sense. Because the idea is like Izuku just simplifies everything too much. Well, let's take apart that idea. Because here Academia has already shown us what the author can do with multiple quirks. I pointed this out in the 213 impression video. What you have with Hero Academia after the one for all fight, you have the main villains of the arc being able to utilize more than one quirk usually. You know, we had this occur with Overhaul, we had it occur with Gentle and Lobrava because they tag team, we had it occur with the high end. It's been happening ever since One for All. In this situation, the villains are the pivot point for whether or not something's going to be suspenseful. So, you know, for the Izuku situation, if the concern is that Izuku having too much power is going to make the story boring, then the easy answer is we're just going to keep seeing what the author has been doing since before. He's just going to keep upgrading the strength of the villains that Izuku in particular has to fight. Which leads into the other point. This is how I think Izuku is going to influence the future story of Hero Academia. This won't really happen when Izuku is still in the discovery phase of the missing quirks. Because that's still, you know, you can still make the plot about him learning to utilize it properly. But, you know, once Izuku gets to a point where he can comfortably use all six of the remaining quirks, I think what we're going to see is more of the All Might versus All for One dynamic. In that, when we had the All for One fight, one of the big takeaway points was that All Might was being kept busy by All for One, and then vice versa, All for One was being kept busy by All Might. I think that's where we're going to end up seeing with Izuku. Izuku might be put in a position where he has to deal with the main power villain, while everyone else around him has to deal with the smaller villains. In this scenario, you get to remove Izuku from the picture while also giving him a worthwhile fight, and you still get to have the added suspense from everyone else being responsible for their own villains. 
And this can be very easily accomplished with the League of Villains and the Nomu system that we already have in place. For instance, the Nomus are vastly overpowered. We've already had it established that the Nomus are capable, or at least the high-end Nomus are capable of the same level of destruction that All for One himself was capable of. So I don't see a problem with having Izuku having to deal with a high-end Nomu, while say Bakugo and Todoroki have to go and deal with some of the people from the League of Villains. And since Izuku's being kept by the really overpowered Nomu, you know, it still frees up the possibility for things to go wrong when Izuku isn't there. So this would be the dynamic that I could really see unfolding here because really when you look at it, once Izuku has those six quirks, he is vastly going to overperform. He's going to overshadow a lot of his other uh, classmates. And to those that say that this is not possible or you know like that's only a, a chance it might not happen listen you're overlooking a fundamental law in here academia that is the more quirks you have the more dangerous you are or the more versatile your quirk is the more dangerous you are in, in the case of shizaki you look at the main villains for the arcs and that law is totally in effect all for one in the nomus run on that law so it's probably also going to be applied to Izuku, although because Izuku is on the hero side, you could imagine that it is actually still possible for him to be kind of nerfed. But Izuku is also the one that has to deal with whatever All for One creates or All for One himself. Uh, because Izuku has to deal with that level of power, it makes sense that he has to be at a pretty godly level of overpoweredness as well. So is Izuku going to ruin the story? My final thoughts? No, but I do think that there has to be a shift in how the author handles Izuku. We already have a precedent for how fights against multiple quirked villains works out. Um, I don't see a problem in having Izuku continue being the one to fight a multiple quirk villain, but we have to be able to remove Izuku from the situation otherwise. Since Hero Academia, however, has an emphasis on teamwork and has an emphasis on rescuing people though, I still think we can see situations at the scale of the All for One All Might fight and have pretty nice creative ways of handling Izuku's overpoweredness. Again, we're still in the discovery phase of Izuku's powers. It's very likely that Izuku won't have all his quirks until maybe the final fight. Actually, that's kind of ridiculous to think of. I think Izuku's gonna have these six quirks unlocked within 200 chapters, but we'll have to see. And that's pretty much the video, guys and girls, because I don't discriminate. <laughs> oh, I love saying that. Anyway, uh, keep an eye out on the channel. There are still a few more topics I kind of want to go through for uh, the recent 213. So you will be able to tell that they are 213 videos by, you know, post 213 discussion or something along those lines. I still want to tackle, you know, what's going to happen to Izuku's classmates after Izuku develops far enough and I still wanted to tackle the logic of whether or not Izuku is actually OP now because there were some very interesting comments in the initial 213 video. But if you guys want to start any other topics, feel free to discuss down below in the comments. Anyway, everyone, this video has been brought to you by the Heroic Trip shirt. Sorry, because I have to plug that in somewhere. Subscribe if you liked the video and yeah, I will see you on the next video in this series. I Hopefully, ideally, maybe within three days. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's my, my that's my cue to get out of here. Anyway, till next time, have a great day.